What's up, Reckon Network? It is Brenton Wednesdays. As we wait for some people to hop on, I am excited today to go through what the future holds, at least for right now. And I want to show you what I've seen as one of the most incredible assessments of one's personality, called a DISC assessment, and offer that free to everyone. And at the end of this video, I'll explain. So let me real quick, uh, hello, hello everyone. Let me show you where we are. We are in my humble abode. So I have this new office. As you see, I'm still moving in. I got a bunch of snacks and some low sodium almonds. And here's the setup, check this out. This bad boy right here has been amazing because I have terrible posture. And just sitting on this, and kind of leaning on it allows me to use the stand-up desk, which is ridiculously cool. And if you can see, it collapses. So I can grab that and this entire desk can collapse down. So really nifty. If you want any links to this stand-up machine, it's like 115 bucks. This stool is like 200 bucks. And check this out. This is an acrylic glass board. I ordered this uh, whiteboard for here, and my mom was like, don't do that, that's so ugly, outdated, you gotta get this acrylic board. So this acrylic glass board, 199 bucks on Amazon. You can literally just look up acrylic glass board. So I'm about to go through what all this is, and then show you what's right there. Now that we have a ton of viewers on, let me preface it. The Reader's Digest version of how I got to where I am today and where I'm going tomorrow, and the reason why I'm even saying this is because I had a lot of people, including tonight at dinner, just say, hey, like, where are you headed? Like, what are you up to? And it's a generic question. It's a question that many of us are asking each other who are building something. And whether it's the save the snails or save the whales, I mean, it's all good. It doesn't even matter. It's just what are we up to? And one thing I want to preface is the fact that I mean, you asked me this question last year, where I want to go right now is com completely different. It is enhanced. And that's in large part thanks to the education, mentors, just experience. So what I'm about to show you, that's where I believe I'm headed right now. And I believe it's going to be some sort of rendition of it. And I kind of mapped out the org chart. So about the that. My amazing sister, whose birthday is today, she's 27. Happy birthday, Brianna. Her and my brother-in-law, Ian, they have two amazing kids, Cody and Leah. And Cody and Leah are both preemie babies, for those of you who don't know. Leah born 10 weeks early at 3 pounds, 3 ounces. Cody born, for a completely different reason, 14 weeks early at just over 1 pound. They have fought all odds. They brought the family together. In fact, I have a picture of Cody. Don't tell Leah, I need one of her. Give me some love, some hearts if you... If you know Cody, if you're rooting for Cody, if you love him, one of the most amazing little guys. Let me see some hearts. Not, well, not thumbs up, hearts. And if this is a replay, I'm going to come back and watch, see who's hearting it. Some hearts, SJ. And what I realized is, I, when I was working for the government doing accounting in my salary job, I won Entrepreneur of the Year at Towson, and it was, I was just struggling every day. I mean, time was going by so slow. And thankfully, with mentor, uh, my mentor, Stu Schmidt, and best friend, Josh Hagedorn, we were flipping houses, and I got that bug of real estate investing. That's when I had those crossroads of graduating college at Towson and said, okay, do you want to go full-time into the government with the salary, with the benefits, with the job security, with the top secret security clearance, or do you want to jump out into real estate investing and go full-time into, into the unknown? into no salary, no job security, the volatility of the market, a whole new world. So I didn't really want to do that, especially seeing my parents with the ups and downs and everything that they've done. Um, even they were like, take the job security and the salary. Well, it wasn't until I was asked, like, what would you tell your niece and nephew? And they're so important to me. For those of you who know me, they're my entire world. And I said, you know what? I would tell them to follow their heart, follow their passions regardless of the unknown, regardless of the salary. And sure enough, as the hypocrite I am, I decided that, I, you know what, I need to go ahead and make the jump. So I jumped into real estate investing, 
In fact, at that time, I jumped into business with the one and only, the great Seth Campbell, and him and I worked together for a year and a half, and we had an amazing time. Well, since then, I'm now on my own, and this is the future. At least I believe it is. Would love some insight because this is just, you know, the blind leading the blind right now. My mom came in here and wrote her name up here. So apparently she owns the empire. So here's the future. Here's what I want to be in 2018. Here's what I am today. Everything's driven by generational impact. Being able to make a community, uh, improve a community for the generations, to share education and insight, uh, wealth building, and help the future generations who have more finite time than we do be able to make even bigger impact. So if everything's tied to generational impact, it kind of comes down here. Here's where I am. I guess I report to my mother. Oh, shout out to my mom. It is her birthday today. So go ahead and put happy birthday, Wendy. Happy birthday, Brianna. Because they are born on the same day and it's super cool. So shout out to them on Brenton Wednesdays. Here I am. EPA, Executive Personal Assistant. One of the things that I'm looking for right now is an executive personal assistant. We'll get to that. A chief of staff who's managing the real estate investing side, venture capital side, and like a philanthropy kind of giving back side. Oh, mom, you are on here. Yes, you are the top of the org chart. <laughs> I don't know how you snuck in here. Real estate investing, here's some ideas um, and some things I'm working on right now. Development, fancy way of the flips and wholesales, being able to just turn the properties over, eventually maybe get into land assemblage and some sort of development that way longer term. Portfolio, the rental properties, currently have currently have 11 rentals and four, possibly six other units pending. So keep your on that. Shout out to Austin Carroll. Sales, have a sales side. I am real estate licensed. So if you know anybody buying, selling, or investing in real estate, be glad to help. Some sort of coaching, consulting, and auxiliary services. So construction company, property management, design. So there's a ton you can do in real estate investing, and real estate investing can truly make a generational impact. Moving over to venture capital, I would like to see this fund these two. So naturally speaking, being able to focus on this, get into venture capital, and, and be able to be a part of businesses that are going to shape the future generations, help fund them, help grow them, help learn through them, and that's going to be an amazing experience and the people you meet. Then the philanthropy side, y'all are here on Reckon, really continue, to grow, continue growing out Reckon. And teaching, something I'm really passionate about. I am the uh, Keller Williams University certified instructor, one of a few. And then a nonprofit. Let me get it. Brianna, my sister, she very involved with the Premi community. Her and I are, well, mainly her, but I really want to support and help her launch this nonprofit that could give back to the Premi communities. And it's more of like that philanthropy side and it's something that where she can tie into her passions and make a really big difference because, I mean, if one of her acts unites one family or saves one child, who knows who that person, that, that little baby could do to the world. So this is where we're headed. Love to hear thoughts, suggestions. Um, this is the current plan. 2018, working backwards, I, I want myself an executive personal assistant and an acquisition specialist. So somebody's gonna go out and find the deals, and then my executive assistant who's gonna be handling my personal side too. Where I need to go, where I need to be today is I need to find this who right here who's going to transform my life and get us to where we need to go. You know, it's interesting, when I look at a stool, right now it's a one-legged stool. It's me. So it is all over the place, like all over the place, hence here at the office at 9.30. And this person, this next hire right here, is gonna be the next part of that stool. Imagine this one-legged stool going to two-legged. Now that foundation it's setting to hire the next person. What's fascinating is how we're gonna to get to there, to there, to here the quickest. I believe it's gonna be through money because money is gonna be able to provide the opportunities to make the next hire, the next hire, the next hire be able to invest in more, be able to invest in more, and be able to give back more. So that's the quick version of at least where I think I'm headed. I'd be, you know, part of Reckon's story is the fun of it is like look back on this and all of us and just say, you know what, like it's amazing. We thought we were thinking so big, yet it was so, so small. All right, 
Now, I want to share with you, for those of you who maybe aren't as familiar, and if you are familiar, this would be good for you, what's called an Abelson Disk Assessment. So this is back from 2014 when I was in the Real Estate Club. Um, shout out to Shaq when we went ahead and started the Real Estate Club at Towson University, and then we grew the Real Estate Club from Towson University to University of Maryland College Park to McDaniel College through Cecil. And we, I mean, I disc probably 200 people for that. This is what it is. It's a personality assessment. It's quick and it is ridiculously accurate. I was going through with my good friend Ed Robinson today and he's a disc ninja. And let me show you a couple quick pages. Hopefully Ed's not watching because he doesn't like when I give the Reader's Digest of disc. Like this kind of gives, like this is me in a nutshell, and it has been validated for the most part. Um, not really feeling this word right here. I do my best to stay humble. So anyways, what I really like about this is he opened up my eyes. Let me show you one quick part, guys, and then I'll explain how you can get it, and I'll wrap this up. It is page 30. Hang in there. Hang in there. Cool. So this is my my most dominant trait of the behavior or the motivators that they talk about. It's utilitarian. It's interest in money and why it's useful. Yet this part is different for everyone. And this really fascinated me. So you just saw my vision. Now you see that it says, um, with economic security comes the freedom to advance his ideas and beliefs. Let's go back to this real quick. It's funny, I did this first before I read that. Economic security comes the freedom to be able to give back, to take more risks, to do more chances. It's funny how that aligns. Future-oriented, um, wealth, money's a scorecard. Wealth provides security for Breton and, and or his family, niece and nephew, talk about that. And I see business, let me just go through. A, I see business partners as family. Um, you know, Shaq, who you see on Tuesdays, he brought that up to me one day and it has forever changed my belief on when I say family. Like I literally think of business partners, I think of my own family, I think of my business partners, families, like not many of us have kids yet, though the kids, you know, I'll see them as my own. And it's a belief that I just adopted from him. I'm not the one who's coming up with these ideas. What I do is pick and choose which to, which to adopt. So all in all, it's really great descriptor. It has done an amazing job of describing me. It is so spot on. And this was when I was 21. I'm 24 now. I highly encourage you take it, look back on it, take it maybe five years from now, see how things have changed. And it's a great report. So if you put your email address in the comments, I will shoot you the link to take this, shoot you the results. Take a look at yourself. Most importantly, look at your motivators because I have never even scrolled to that page. Like, if you know me, you know that I'm not scrolling down to page 30 of a 50 page report. It's usually like, what's the graph? And like page 10 and okay, squirrel, fly. So this is your chance right now to get involved, to check out more about you. And um, all in all, I love to hear your guys' thoughts on this. And if you want to take a disc, drop it in. Thank you, Manny. I see you're dropping your email in. Anyways. Anybody has any questions, any thoughts, any concerns, I would appreciate you sharing those. I know there's a lot of successful people in wrecking stories, far more successful than I am, and I would appreciate the insight. Feel free to hit me up. That's kind of what this is all for. It's, I'm looking out, for, I'm reaching out for some, some guidance. And whatever I learn, I'll be sure to share with the world, especially this wrecking community. Thank you so much for being amazing. Wrecking Story Season 2 is coming together right now. I'm putting together the cast. If you're interested in having your day of the week for two months, give a sneak peek inside your life, add value to the community, hit me up. I will be glad to have that conversation. If you know of anybody who's killing it, building a business of any sort, any age, let me know. All right, see you fam, good night.